In this video I want to talk about Google Trends and what you can use it for and you can find Google Trends at google.com forward slash trends. Now Google Trends is a great way to analyze crowd behavior and to see what people are searching for at any particular given time over an extended period. Let me just give you an example. Um, let's uh, use a search term like X Factor the uh, talent TV show and let's click on search trends now you can see that the pattern developed here is fairly consistent uh, interest starts to build as the show is trailed and then after the winner is announced it drops off and it's fairly flat again until the next year and as I move along here you can see that the troughs and peaks get more pronounced mainly because over the years more people uh, start to get broadband internet access and uh, internet enabled cell phones which means that they can search more often and you can also see at the bottom here there's a news reference volume you can see what's being written about the X factor all the way along and you can drill down here by region as well because let's say we look at the UK where the X Factor has been running for many years and you can see here search volume goes up fairly regularly and then you've got more news items and so on here but if we switch that to the United States you can see that the search volume and the news reference is pretty flat up until around 2009 when Simon Cowell announced that he was going to be leaving uh, American Idol to concentrate on bringing the X Factor to the US and then you've got other peaks when further announcements were made you can see here there were more news stories being written about and then you've got the various peaks as the show starts to take off and so on and you've got see this one here shows the peak in traffic when Simon Cowell to leave American Idol um, and these when various things have happened on the show you know, when people started writing about Cheryl Cole and Paula Abdul and so on. Now finding cyclical patterns in search volume data uh, is very interesting because it can tell you when you want to start marketing your product or service when there's going to be a lot of demand and you can also use Google Trends to search for more than one item at a time and I'm sort of demonstrating both here uh, we've got five search terms gifts flowers chocolate fireworks and costume and you can find that flowers sort of peaks around Valentine's Day uh, fireworks tends to peak in the middle of the summer mainly because the 4th of July in America gets uh, a lot of searches and lots of airplay lots of uh, news. Uh, costumes again tends to peak around Halloween because countries like America, Ireland, Britain, Germany have uh, Halloween parties and people dress up in fancy costumes and so on. But you can also use this to analyze trends and show where your product or service might be better aimed at a specific place uh, at specific times of the year. Now let's say we change this. Let's take a look at the search volumes for India, for example. We can see, if I just scroll down here, that the pattern for flowers it goes up a bit at the beginning of every year, as do gifts. But also, you notice here that fireworks tends to peak around the end of the year when people buy fireworks for Diwali uh, as do chocolate that's the beginning of the year as well and so on so you can use this data to uh, tailor 
product launches or to tailor campaigns aimed at specific markets at specific times of the year. Have you ever wondered how popular something is compared to something else? Well, search volume is a great indicator. Now, if we compare Google, Yahoo and Bing, for example, we can see the cultural shift over time in online searching. In fact, we can even pinpoint the month and it's, you can see right here, where Google, and again here, where Google overtook Yahoo in terms of search popularity. You can also see that Bing is just a small line on the graph because it's so new. But you can also see that it got popular when it was first launched, but it's flatlined ever since. So in short, there are many different ways that you can use Google Trends to mine search data to do better research. And these are just a few examples to get your creative juices flowing.